Hello everyone! We have got three tadpoles. They are also tailless amphibian larvae, and today we will make a terrarium to see how they turn into a frog. More precisely, it will be an ordinary aquarium at the first stage. To fill it, we've taken some water from the same pond where the tadpoles have been caught. Tap water is not desirable. Firstly, it is chlorinated and must be settled. Secondly, the living conditions should meet out the natural ones as much as possible. So, let's fill a 15-liter container. We have filled it with 9 liters, haven't we? This is 3 liters for each tadpole. As you can see, the water is a bit dirty, just like river dwellers like. Everything is ready for moving into a new dwelling. We can relocate the tadpoles to their new home. There is some place to run wild. The first exposure with the reservoir has begun, strange as it may seem, with a meal. There are a lot of small algae in the river water, which are included in the tadpoles' diet. And now it's time to look through the anatomy. At this stage of its development, the tadpole has only a tail and a head, where two eyes are clearly visible. If you look closely, you can also find gills. The tadpole, unlike an adult frog, can breathe under the water. The mouth is at the bottom of its head, so it is not surprising that it is anatomically easier for it to pick up food from the bottom. At the same time, pay attention to how fast it chews, and in general, unlike the slow frog, its larva is incredibly nimble. Everything is because of the fact that it moves only with the help of its tail, and not of four legs like an adult. As we have said, tadpoles eat some algae. Therefore, we've taken not only water, but grabbed some vegetation from the pond. Or rather, we've taken some mud which floats on the water top. We put it down to the tadpoles and, strange as it may seem, they've begun to absorb again. It's not a larva, but an underwater locust. They have surrounded on all sides and are pitching to understand who is faster. Day 2 is with no changes. It's only become clear that they have developed a sense of bed and try to stick together. As the tadpoles breathe with gills, we have added an aerator to the aquarium on the third. Let's enrich the water with oxygen. Day 5. Day 7. The food has already begun to run out, or rather it has reduced twice. Day 9. The tadpoles have stopped being only at the bottom and begun to rise up to get some air. The metamorphosis process in the body has started and now they are learning to breathe not only with gills. On the 11th day, the tadpole have a small piece of mud left, and the competition for who will eat more has increased significantly. By the 12th day, the tadpoles have run out of food in the aquarium. They are sitting quietly at the bottom and waiting for dinner. Let's move on to feeding with dandelion leaves. But first, let's put it into a container and pour it with boiling water for 5 minutes to soften the plant fibers. Next, we are relocating it to the aquarium, but first we have to upgrade it, so that the leaf can drown. The tadpoles have jumped up immediately and begun to taste a new treat. The choice of dandelion is for some reasons, it is a real delicacy for amphibians. Actually, this is already clear observing the appetite with which they are eating it. And by the way, all the tadpoles have gathered near the leaf, everyone wants to eat. On the 13th day, one of the tadpoles has had hind legs. They are barely noticeable, but they are there. And by the way, pay attention to how many unknown living creatures have appeared in the water. We could be wrong, but it's probably the paramecium. On the 14th day, all three tadpoles have had legs, and the one who has the limbs first seems that its legs have become twice as large. Here is the growth rate. But the tadpoles still use their tails to move around, and the legs are still only for beauty. We can say that after two weeks, the metamorphosis process has finally started. Now we will fix the changes every day. Day 15 is without any changes. They still continue to pluck a dandelion leaf, and their leaves are getting darker. On the 16th day, only fibers have left from some dandelion leaves, and the hind legs have grown noticeably. 
Although the limes still remain motionless, the tadpole still moves with its tail, but the features of the toad's face are becoming more and more distinct. As there is quite a lot of garbage at the bottom, it would be time to clean the aquarium. We even have a life hack on how to get a hook from the bottom and not get our hands wet. But the raccoon has not immediately understood what we want from him and has begun to simply rinse. Just a couple of minutes and the task is completed. Both the raccoons has rinsed and we are dry, everyone is happy. And now we put down the tube into the aquarium and pick up mud from the bottom. Day 17. We have decided to take out one tadpole and examine it. The first thing that catches the eye is that the tadpole has a frog color, both on the legs and on the body. Although there is no body, as we get used to see, now it is just one big head, and the amphibian has finally begun to move its legs. And some fingers are clearly visible at the limbs, but to be more precisely, these are membranes. The 18th day is not marked by any changes. The only thing is that the size of the hat has become even larger. But on the 19th day, the forelimb has finally appeared. So far, there is only one left and the frog doesn't move it yet, but it is there. The transformation continues. In addition, the muzzle has formed quite quickly, although not for the wall 100%, but the features of the frog are already visible. And here you can see the right front leg, which has formed but has not erupted yet. Cool! So, we have been fixating the tadpole metamorphosis for 9 days, therefore we have had one day off a break, and we haven't missed anything beyond the natural. On the 21st day, we see that the tadpole, according to the shape of the body, is almost completely formed into a frog. There are already all four legs. The hind ones function fine, the fronts are just starting to move. The tails is still at the same place like the gills haven't transformed into lungs yet, the amphibian still breathes under the water. Day 22. The tail has dissolved rather quickly, it can be said that it is shortened three times in just a day. In fact, it differs from a full-fledged frog at this stage only that it breathes with gills, and from this angle it's hard to say we're missing some changes. The next day, the frog has finally acquired lungs and it is now not under, but on the surface of water. The mouth, as we see, has already formed completely. In fact, all that remains of unfinished changes is the remnant of the small tail and awkward moving of the front legs, which have not become stronger yet. And now, full-fledged frogs have finally appeared in our aquarium in 24 days. The only thing is that the water has become very muddy from the constant presence of dandelions. Therefore, we will take some water from this swamp and replace it with fresh water. As the frogs have started breathing with their lungs and not with grills during the metamorphosis, they try to stay near the surface of the water. The formation is not over yet, and the body is small and weak, the frog can drown. Therefore, at this stage, we add a raft to the aquarium. It is in the form of three wooden sticks. Almost immediately, the frog understands how to use the pieces of wood and it has clumsily got to the surface. This is its first time on land. It's sitting and having rest after the months in the water. The second one is also trying to get out, but so far its attempts have been unsuccessful. But it can hold to the raft with its front legs and can rest. Three and a half weeks have passed, and what was a tadpole at the start is already calmly jumping on the table. A centimeter-sized frog jumps almost four centimeters long. It's probably ready for adulthood. As the observation is over, it is time to return the amphibian to the reservoir from which the tadpoles were once caught. And I must say, the frog has immediately understood what happens, jumps along the bank, dives into the water and swims to the nearest reeds. If it is not difficult, appreciate our efforts with a like. Bye-bye!